below. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? You seem like an a-hole. Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? She didn't want me to. She didn't want you to do a lot of things. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You lied to her about who you really are. It wasn't the right time to tell her. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. SHE WOULD HAVE BEEN BETTER OFF! How could you know all this?
You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Which way out? Through there. Jesus. Don't look in there. I know. I know.
covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. I, I can't believe what I'm about to do. It they smell horrible, which means you have to too. Yuck. Okay. I I can't believe I'm about to do this. Oh, it's it's not the fact that I'm butchering a logger. That that's not what horrifies me. It's the fact that we have to go Clementine in God knows what. I mean, it makes sense. I understand. It's a smart plan. I just can't believe we're about to do this. You know, the funny thing is, I didn't realize that. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Yeah, the thing is, I can't. I didn't think it was the fact that Lee was coded in it. I thought it was the fact that he just, uh. He was bid, really? but I guess One that more. doesn't make a difference, because be he's sure. still technically conscious. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. And walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. What about our parents? Just gonna blend in incognito. I hope this doesn't result in a game over. I'm just I'm just pressing forward, you know. Is it like if we bump into them? We okay. I I guess not. I I thought if we bump into them or touch them, instant game over, but... Oh no. Oh no. That was her parents, wasn't it? Lee, wake up! Please don't be dead! Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I, I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents! Got away. They're dead for sure. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! 
You know how I said Lee looks really like looks pale? He looks when I found it. really I pale now. Pull on three. One. Two. I am not three. imagining I'm not imagining this. He he looks really pale. He's he's, he's on the verge point. <laughs> Heartbreaking though. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> I, I'm actually a little touched, hurt, feeling kind of emotional. This is really hard. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. 